This story is about a talented girl named Verena. She possesses a unique talent and takes care of the agonized kids or those kids who had lost their own relatives accidentally. These accidents leave a bad impact on the brain of kids. As a result, they cannot lead a normal life. But Verena used to take a charge of helping such type of kids until their condition is restored. She was specialized and experienced in her work and had tackled such cases many times. She had helped many children to establish a stable life. She had spent her life in loneliness so she could do it as such. She used to live at the house of those kids who were under her treatment. The recovery of kids might take a month or a year. This work was according to her interest. She has a new case as there was an aristocratic family living in Italy. This house had few members. The owner of family was Klaus and his son named Jacob with their keeper Alessio. They were leading a very happy life when Jacob's mother named Malvina was alive. Malvina was a famous lady of being a pianist. She had the affectionate feelings for her son. Suddenly falling ill, she loses her life. Jacob's condition was not normal after the death of his mother. His mind had a bad impact of it. The reason behind it was that Jacob's mother had advised him before her death, you will not speak out until the time comes. She also takes his promise. And Jacob did the same as he used to keep quiet avoiding even laughter and weeping after the death of his mother. Her mother has passed away seven months ago but his condition is still same. And his father Klaus was in tension because of Jacob's condition. So he calls Verena so that she may treat his son. Taking the charge of this case, Verena tries to reach the root of this condition. She explores that Jacob is not mentally stable after the death of his mother. And Verena is here to restore his condition. Verena was optimistic of taking Jacob as a normal child like other children who will be recovered soon. But Verena has not any idea. A number of ladies had visited here for Jacob but no one could stay here. Verena questions Jacob after meeting him but no response comes on his part. Then Verena once notices at the dinner time that Klaus is behaving rigidly with his son. Next day, Verena again tries to communicate with Jacob but it is of no use. He does not speak out. Then Verena discovers the whole house one day. Then she enters a room accidentally where she encounters an old lady. She is the retired housemaid Lilia of Malvina who served her at the time of her illness. That lady behaves very friendly with Verena. Consequently, Verena feels good while impressing. Then Verena more discovers about the family and comes to know that Malvina is only the owner of all this wealth which is ancestral, and they had been living here for the last 1,200 years. And their storage area was the source of their income. Malvina had stopped taking income from storage area during the time of her illness. Verena also goes to view their storage areas. Keeper Alessio tells her that many people have lost their lives while removing those stones which are there. Otherwise, Verena visits their family tomb where 40 members of that family were buried. And their graves were inside the walls which were made of stones. Malvina was also buried in the same tomb. Then Keeper Alessio asks Verena to listen saying, the voice comes from these walls. She talks about the ghosts indirectly. But Verena never believed in such things so ignores. Verena is frightened at a night finding the dead rabbit her room. She thinks, it has been mischieved by Jacob. He wanted to scare her. She enters in his room. She finds Jacob sitting mysteriously giving his ears to the walls. It seemed as the sounds are coming from the walls. Seeing it, she holds him up which makes Jacob disturbed and he leaves from there. Then Verena asks Klaus, why did you keep secret the strange actions of Jacob from me? Then she suggests Klaus, Jacob should be admitted to hospital. Klaus disagrees on it. But he says, my son is not insane. He may hear the voice of his dead mother from the walls. Then Verena decides to leave this place wondering about it. And he thinks as she cannot help Jacob more. Then she changes her thought and gets ready to stay there for Jacob making herself more loving for him. She spends most of her time with him. Sometimes, she also used to hear from the wall like Jacob giving her ears. And she tries to explain Jacob, no voice is coming from the wall. Because dead people don't return back. 
so we can also not hear their voices. But her words leave no effect on Jacob so he continues to hear giving his ear to walls. Then Klaus reveals to Verena about the talent of Jacob which has been inherited to him by his mother. It was piano playing. Thinking tea, Verena asks Jacob to play the piano but he does not. It is obvious there that there is no any left effect on Jacob with the arrival of Verena. Verena discovers one of the walls which is actually a grave of a cat. Afterward, she knows that an alive cat was buried there. They had a strange thought taking cats as the cats can bring the good days for them while protecting them from evil. Verena begins to realize something strange after a long time. And Lilia used to comb Verena hair every night. And Lilia's communication had the effect to take Verena into unconsciousness. Some changes are also observed in Verena. Lilia gives a dress of Malvina to Verena for wearing when Verena's dress is torn. Klaus is got angry seeing it. He asks her to change the dress. Suddenly, he forbids her from changing her dress after noticing her resemblance to his wife. Then he says, she can wear this dress again. Actually, Klaus was a sculptor who wants to make the statue of his dead wife Malvina. It was difficult to make it because his wife was no more. He requests Verena to help for making a statue. It means, Verena will have to sit unveiled before him. At the first, Verena feels bad but she agrees on his insistence. Then a strange thing occurs as Verena also begins to hear the voices from the walls. And these voices of Malvina. Then Verena starts hallucinating, losing her control. The coming voices from the walls had said something to her. She later feels as perhaps she is in love with Klaus. She shares her feelings with Klaus. Klaus scolds her, disliking it. He says, you have also gone mad like Jacob. You cannot treat him more so leave from here. But there was something strange with Verena and she does not want to leave that place. She implores to Jacob, you will have to speak now. Your father will send me back from here if he does not speak. I have affectionate feelings for you and don't want to go. But Jacob feels nothing for her said words and he leaves from there. Verena is feeling sick in the coming day. Her condition is worsened as happened with Malvina. She is scared and decides to leave from there packing her luggage. Klaus comes on her way as she is leaving with her luggage. He tries to stop her. Verena is surprised when she asks about Lilia. Klaus says that Lilia has passed away six months before. Hearing it, Verena is more frightened and begins to run. She was facing difficulty to walk because of feebleness. Keeper Alessia was going after her. Walking at a little distance, she loses her conscience. And they bring her back to house after lifting her. She is lied down on the same bed where Malvina was died. Verena's condition has got worsened. Then Verena suspects them thinking Klaus has killed his wife in the lust of wealth and bury her in one of the walls. So the voices come from the walls. They give medicine to Verena forcefully. Klaus seemed hard as nails. Opening her eyes, Verena sees that she is in the wall and Klaus is burying her where Malvina's soul is already present who touches her face. But Verena is awakened from her sleep. She finds herself safe on the bed. Her behavior was not revealing as she is actual Verena. She goes to Jacob. Here a strangest thing happens at the first time as Jacob had a smiling face now. He immediately embraces Verena. He first time speaks out that I missed my mother too much. Verena replies on it, I am here. And all three return to their home happily. Then Verena is shown playing piano while she never knew how to play it. Only one paranormal scene has been shown in this movie while there are also others. It was Lilia's ghost which was only visible before Verena. Even it was also not Lilia's ghost but the alive buried cat ghost in the wall. There were same facts which were in the mind of these people. So this was the cause that Verena used to lose her sense while talking with Lilia, because it was controlling her mind. And she was fallen in love with Jacob and Klaus because of this cause. It was Malvina's soul who used to talk with Jacob from the walls. Verena could also hear after passing a time. Lilia desired to transfer the soul of Malvina into Verena. So Malvina may lead a happy life with her family coming back into this world. When Malvina was buried, her soul was transferred to Verena. 
This is the reason that Jacob recognizes her mother immediately. Because Malvina had told Jacob on her deathbed that a lady will come, and it will be the perfect time for you to speak. And it is the perfect time. Verena's background reveals as she was not satisfied with her life so she became the victim of them. And the scene of her playing piano exposes as she is leading a happy life now. Here the movie completes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please like, share the video, and subscribe the channel for more interesting videos.